this marks the start of the Inca Trail. I guess we should explain that we aren't doing the traditional Inca Trail. Normally you can do a four-day walk or a ten-day walk. We're actually only doing a two-day walk. We're not really lazy, it's just kind of how we Come happened. on, we are. <laughs> maybe, maybe just a little bit. We crave our comfort. Um, so basically, we're going to be hiking for a full day and then we're going to get to Aguas Calientes and stay in a hotel. We're not staying in tents. And then the following day, we'll be touring Machu Picchu with a guide and like learning the history of the place. So I guess really it's only one day walking the Inca Trail, but we're going to say two to feel a little better about ourselves. Five minutes of walking, we've already reached our first Incan site. This is amazing. More than 500 years ago, there were so many people hiking on the Inca trails to get to Machu Picchu. Yes. This is because Machu Picchu was a holy city for them. Okay. Pachacuti is a famous person here. Yes. We consider to him as Alexander the Great yes. in the Andes. We've probably been hiking for an hour and a half or two. How are you feeling? I am hot, I'm sweaty, and we've been going uphill almost the entire way. So I'm looking forward to hitting the lunch point and then going downhill all the way to Machu Picchu. Same here. <laughs> really getting into his photography over there. Coming? How's the walk? I'm still tired. Still tired, still oh, yeah. sweaty. Oh yeah. But we're still walking. Still going at still it. Still walking in need of a, desperately in need of a shower at the end of this. And maybe ice cream? Maybe ice cream. Maybe ice cream. More like a hot spring. halfway done the hike what is something that's really surprised you so far I guess maybe how the vegetation keeps changing like when we first started out the trek it was green sure but like now as we're getting deeper into the mountains and like closer to waterfalls and rivers it's really lush and there's lots of moss and the temperature is actually a bit cooler like before I was sweating and it was really humid but now the temperature is starting to drop which is really really nice made it to the archaeological site that we can see off in the distance, Winyai Huayna, straight ahead.
process is divided in three parts. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's similar to Machu Picchu. Right. So the only difference is that Machu Picchu is much, much bigger than this one. Yeah. Tourists are those people found the remains of the coca plants. Oh. You know, coca was one important plant for the Quechua, for the Inca people. Oh, yeah. They used coca as a currency, yeah. they used coca for medicine purposes, and they used coca for religious purposes. <laughs> But it's llama poop. So we've encountered the monkey steps. I think this is going to require climbing on all fours. Let's go. Do the monkey. Do the monkey. That's not very monkey like. Well, it's not very monkey like, so what? <laughs> so we've reached Intipuco and this is where we're going to get our first view of Machu Picchu and considering how long we've walked, I think we've earned it. Intipuco this way. Triumph. Where did we make it to? We made it to the sun gate. Barely. Barely. Machu Picchu! Machu Picchu! We made it! How are you I feeling? I know, I know. After that long hike, it's amazing. And we're so lucky to have views like this because yeah, apparently it was raining for three days before we did this hike. I know. And we have sunshine and blue skies. And the lost city is waiting for us just over there. Llama selfie, going for the llama selfie. Hi llama, hi llama. Let's be friends or ignore me. So that is a wrap from Machu Picchu. We finished the hike, and tomorrow we'll be back to actually explore the lost city. Yeah, we have two days to do that, so that's awesome. We can't wait. <laughs>